Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of Sparrow 2 Gateway to Cover. I'm Sparrow557 and today we're going to go into Idol Springs. So here we go. Uh, and I will get into talking about this uh, in a bit. Alright, here we are. Idle Springs. So, uh, let's talk to this guy straight away. Spyro, the idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. The workers can break the locks if they can get to the doors. Okay, well, don't think he says anything else. Um, actually, I've noticed that... Uh, the, uh, the flags here have the talisman on top of them, so yeah, I, I don't know if that was the case in the Colossus, but uh, so uh, yeah, um, here we are. Very like this level, it's kind of nice. It's it's a sunset time evening, um, and I think the background looks like toasty a bit, but I don't think it's the same. Uh, and Chandra Trump's power free, but I don't think it's the same. Uh, so now we can swim now, so we can get all the stuff under here. So I think this is the first time we're swimming, because I, I, I haven't done it in uh, Summer Forest yet. So, yeah, this is swimming in Sparrow 2, and it's, it's really great. Um, and a lot of people say how good the swimming is, and, you, and so many other games try to make that swimming better, but really, uh, the swimming in Sparrow 2 and 3 is the best swimming uh, in any game ever, and I agree with that. I think uh, some people have said that. I don't know who. I think it might have been Crystal Fisher who said that. Um, I think, so... I mean, yeah, it's really great. I mean, Millibag said you could uh, hold, hold down X and you go like this, but it's a lot faster and feels more fun to charge underwater. So, uh, lots of green gems here, worth two, as we would know from the first game. Okay, so uh, here we have a puzzle, um, so we're gonna get straight into it, and it's really easy. I've been locked in here with all our tools. And the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. Okay, uh... Um... The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Uh... Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but... Uh, why is my computer doing weird things? Um... Okay, that... This is really weird. Uh, so, yeah, we've got to solve this puzzle here. Um, so, wait, does he say anything else? Jump on the blocks to change their color to yellow. Okay, wait, what? Oh, you can turn to reset. Uh, Jump on the blocks to change their color to yellow. Let's start over. I uh, didn't want to do that, but well, well, nothing happened, so, uh... Jump on the okay, no, he didn't say anything else. Okay, everyone, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but here we go. Uh, here's the puzzle. So, uh, whoa, it seems like it's working. But all you have to do is just go on the corner ones. And then it's done. And I found this puzzle really hard when I was, when I was a kid. But all you have to do is that. So... Wow, Spyro, you did it. I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Alright, so we have to do three challenges, uh, three challenges with him. Um, so yeah, now it's done. But I mean, I found this really hard when I was a kid, and I don't know why. All you have to do is go on, on the corners, so... 
Yeah, I mean, don't really understand. Uh, does he say anything else? Oh, wait, he doesn't. The thing's hollow. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Okay, he just does the same thing. Wait, and then we get zapped again? I didn't know that happened, so... It's a good thing I'm still doing what I'm doing. Uh, just to make sure, and... Uh, what is going on here? I'm having a lot of uh, computer problems. So uh, this might not go as, you know, might go, uh, might not go well, but okay, so he appears here, and we have to do this. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Right, so we got to not feed him the booms. So why don't I just do this? Um, just got to get our uh, mist. 3 out of 10. And you've just got to be careful, you've just got to know when they're going to come, but you, you can't really tell. So, I mean, I think I've seen someone walking down like this and seeing where the fish are going to um, appear. Oh, yes, okay. Oh no, I didn't get that in. Okay, red. Okay, we need orange or blue. Either one. Doesn't matter. Oh, ah. Oh. Some are just too fast. So we've got to wait for the slower ones like that, and they have to jump high enough for you to get them. So you just, just have to wait, really. Wait that one. Nope, too, too fast and too slow, and no, nah, that one wasn't high enough. That one wasn't high enough either. Okay, so we need four more. Oh, yes, that's good enough. No. Uh, okay, no, not good enough. I mean, I mean, you just have to be lucky with this. Uh, just take your time, don't feel like you have to rush. Um, okay, no, don't do that one. Oh, ah, no, couldn't do it. Yes, done! Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the College Stones for your final challenge. Okay, so this level is weird. I mean, can't think of any other levels that do this, where, you know, you have challenges and you have to keep um, meeting the guy to do stuff. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle. Oh, he just, yeah, just keeps saying the thing, that same thing. And you can keep making uh, Zoe zap you, which is weird. Why does that happen? Okay, so we've got one enemy, one spirit pack hole. Uh, there's a chest over there, but we need a rocket for it. Hopefully I haven't missed any gems down there. Um, and uh, these guys will open the doors to let you through. Uh, once you've killed a bigger enemy, so like uh, this one over here, he's holding the guy. So we kill him and now he will open the door. As you can see, so uh, okay, why can't I control properly? What is wrong with me? I'm usually, I'm usually really good at this, so... I don't know, um, but it doesn't really matter. Um, actually, I've just noticed that you can... Wait, what? I, 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 I've just noticed that you can, you can charge and jump. I mean, you can jump again while in the air, like... So, the, do the double jump isn't just for doing, you know, that, but you can also, um, charge him and jump again like that. I don't know if you can see that, but, yeah, I've just noticed that. So, it's actually even more, so, I can't believe the developers never spotted that before they released the game. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Okay, power. Oh, yeah, that's pretty simple to know. Can't flame the shield, so you have to charge them. Um, but, I mean, they told you all this in Sparrow 1 as well. Uh, you know, the dragons told you. And, uh, you know, they said something like big enemies can't be charged, but a quick flame should do a trick, I think. 
I don't know who says that. It might be in Dark Hollow or maybe Toasty. No, not Toasty. Town Square. Um, I mean, I've played the Sparrow game so much, so many times, and I'm I remember the dialogue very well. So I uh, don't know if there's anything you can do here. I mean, you can stand on this, but. Uh, what, what is the point of this? I thought you could slide off this or something. I don't know. Uh, so, um... Okay, more gems in here. And we should be coming up to the last challenge so, uh, soon to get the orb. Um, so, like this bit here, um, this cave bit, Looks very cool. Um, I mean, I don't know if this is tree or sort of something. Cause it kind of looks like it, but um, I don't know. Um, to aim the camera left or right, press the L2 or R2 button. Okay, L2 or R2. But actually, that's weird because I'm using L1 and R1 to do that. So why does that happen? Um, that, that's weird. Why am I able to, you know, do... Oh, and you can center the camera by pressing them at once. So if it was like here, I could do that. That centers it. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, actually, I've just thought of something. No, she does appear again. Okay. Because for a second I thought that she only, does it, she only does it once, um, and in Sparrow 3 she does it multiple times or something. I don't know, but uh, here is the last challenge actually. Shall we get this guy? Yeah. Let's do that now. And he'll open the door. But actually I'll get the talisman after this, so... If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle! I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. If you jump on these stones... Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Um, so, wait. Did he, did he just say the same thing? I don't know, but... No, that's not... Uh, okay, I remember th this is the hardest one, because you... How are you meant to know? You know, what, what order do they go in? I mean, does it go from blue to... Um... I, I don't get this. What? I mean, how are you supposed to know what order it goes in? No, okay. I've forgotten this one. Uh, so we know it's that, and I think it's this one. No, it's not! What? I thought it was. I, I didn't think it was this one. Oh, okay, it is. Oh, maybe it's this one now, and then this, and then the green one. Yeah, okay. But, I mean, this puzzle makes no sense. Not really. Nice job, they don't explain it. You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Alright, so I guess it came out of the toolbox, so uh, uh yeah, so now now we're back here, so we'll have to go all the way around and oh uh, we can't talk to him again. So um yeah, let's go all the way back now. Um, so, what, what can I uh, say right now? Oh, got an extra life. Okay, so I got 12. I haven't died yet, I don't think. No, I, I can't. I, no, I, I, have, I haven't. So, uh, that'll be interesting to see if we can get through this let's play without dying. Um, that would be really cool, because I don't think I've ever completed this game without dying once. So maybe we can make this let's play into you know, a survival challenge as well, or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be really careful. going to be really trying not to die. So, Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we 
we've got a place for you here. But a moment, I want you to have this talisman. Okay, there it is. And yeah, it's the one on the flag. So yeah, right here. That's the talisman. So um, it'll be interesting to see the Winter Tundra levels because it's weird how they just stop the R, uh, stop the talismans in the Winter Tundra levels. Like, I've always found that weird. And I feel as if they were going to have talismans in every level. And I really don't understand why we didn't, but we'll get to that later, and I guess that's kind of spoilers, but I mean, a lot of people have played this game by now, and a lot of people should have known, uh, should know, no, don't want to fall, uh, what spur is, um, okay, so there's gems over there, oh, it, it would be cool if I could glide from here to the gems, I don't think I've, I've ever tried that, so I think I'm going to try it now, because, yeah, maybe I can... Uh, oh well, I got a gem, so that's something at least. So um, yeah, I don't think you can make that. Oh no, maybe you could double jump though. Ah, uh, okay. Doesn't matter. Let's just get back to where we were again. Uh, I I didn't think I was gonna get a gem there, but uh, wait, I thought I saw a gem here. No, okay. Uh, so, what? Uh, right, so here's the next pole, but we don't really need to use the next pole. Um, there's another challenge coming up in a bit. Ah, oh, why did I do that? Why didn't I glide? What? Uh, okay, let's try again. And now the song has just ended, first of all, so yeah, we'll just keep playing. Um, but. In Spire 1, uh, if you stay in the level for too long, um, the music in the level would uh, would suddenly change to an alternate song or something, so that was really cool. I, I liked that about Spire 1. But I don't know if it was ever, you know, intentional um, to do that. Okay, but this bit here is weird, I don't know what's the point of that, but anyway, let's just, just go over that. Um, here and I guess these things are meant to be like huts or something like that. I don't know, that's what they look like. Oh no! Okay. Ah, just fell down. Uh, but I guess we'll collect all the gems down here and I want to get back up. And oh, supercharge! Oh, that was good to get up there. Oh, and it's just because I've got the supercharge now, it thinks I've activated that challenge, so, oh, okay, it went. Uh, oh, and actually, I've just remembered something. There's a skill point in this level. Uh, no, what? Are you kidding? How could the same thing happen again? Um, what? Okay, let's try again. I can't believe I'm doing better this. This shouldn't be hard at all. So, right there. I don't know why I fell. Is there, is there something wrong with my controller? Okay, so the skill point for this level is to get over here and land on here. And there you go. So we've got that one. Pretty easy. Well, I mean, as a kid, I never knew that. So the skill points were really you know, well, hidden, really weird things you had to do to get them. So, yeah, I think, I think I will try and get all the skill points in this let's play because, yeah, I want it to be 100% and, yeah, I guess they do count towards that. The skill points, well, not really, but they might, they might as well. Uh, okay, so here we've got to get the rockets, and you know, the rockets in this game have changed, they look more stronger and powerful than the rockets in Spar 1, because they just look like, you know, just simple things, and these ones are quite better, so, yeah, it's really interesting um, how they, you know, changed the, the design of a lot of things in this game from the first game, so... Yeah, and actually, oh yes, I can use a gem pointer if you press 
um, L1, R1, L2, and that to together you can make spacks. Uh, find the gems for you. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of a cheat, but um, I don't know. I don't know why. Um, you know, they, they never tell you anything about that. So it, it's interesting. Um, the sparks finder, sparks gem finder. Uh, it's really interesting. And oh, this guy here is gone now. Um. And I guess the one at the the fish um, pond is gone. Um, so, um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, the sparks. Jump find out. It's really weird um, how they left it in the game, but in Sparrow 3, they actually make you. Uh, they actually make you um, learn the ability to do that. Okay, yes, we got all the gems. That's great. Um, okay, and we have this guy here. And in the demo, in the early beta of this game, you could actually talk to this guy. Uh, and it's in the uh, Winter Releases 99 trailer of Sparrow 2. So, yes, I did a, vi a video of that. So, and you could actually talk to this guy, so it's really weird. Um, it's fabulous to see you, Sparrow. Now that the supercharged power up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Okay. Um. So, wait. Do they say anything else? Send those lazy hula girls over here to do a dance. Send those lazy. That's what we say. Um. So. Yeah. Uh, this was quite hard when I, when I was a kid, but now it's pretty. Wow, well, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Ah, oh, missed. But I guess we can just keep going around. Uh, hopefully, no. Uh, guess you've got to get them all in one go. Ah, oh, five out of six. Oh no. Ah, oh, what? Okay. I think I'm going to have to wait until they're all down. Okay, right. Let's try it now. It's this kind of hard to steer. Oh no, yes, did that. Right. Look at that. The hula girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Okay, so that's that done. And that's weird that the music changed that. And I don't think that's a separate track. So it's kind of weird. Um, uh, so we've done the level. We've got the skill point and everything's done. And you might have noticed, but uh, all the people in this level look like the people in Colossus, and the reason why is because originally uh, the levels were going to have uh, were going to be uh, sister levels, and the names were going to be similar. Like uh, Colossus was going to be called originally it was going to be called Colossus Valley or Colossus Step, I think, uh, and. Idol Springs was going to be called Colossus Springs, so yeah, um, each um, level, um, two levels were going to, you know, be uh, six levels, so yeah, um, it's really interesting. So uh, I think we are done here, so I will exit the level and we're done.
Okay, so there we go, Isle Springs is done. But now that Isle Springs is done, we want to complete the rest of Summer Forest. So we can swim now, so we can uh, go to the area at the beginning and get the orb. And um, we can, uh, we can um, uh, go under the water and money bags and we can do all that. So yeah, and access more and get two more wells. So uh, yeah, that's it for this part. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Sparrow557 and this has been Sparrow2 Gateway to Kuma Part 4. And it's been Idle Springs, so the next part we're going to do more of Summer Forest. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. Hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.